Hello and welcome to Mr. Tompkins EdTech. This series of videos are to help you get to grips with online learning and your virtual classroom in Microsoft Teams. If you still need a hand getting started with Teams, check out these other videos first which will help you install the app and find your class. In this video we'll be taking a look at live online lessons delivered through Microsoft Teams. I'll show you how to find and join the lesson, we'll look at the rules and etiquette of online learning, and I'll share some tips and strategies to help you get the most out of these learning opportunities. So first up, how do you know you have a live lesson that you need to attend? Well, first you should receive an email sent to your school email account with the date and the time of the meeting. In that mail, there should be buttons for you to press to indicate to the teacher whether you will be attending or not. It's good practice to reply, but not essential. If you do accept, your teacher will be able to see that you have received the invite and you have indicated that you're going to be attending. You should also get an event appearing in your calendar with an Outlook. Now notice when you tap on this, you have a join button on it, which if you click it, will actually take you into the meeting within Teams. Now you're likely to get this invite long before the start time of your lesson, so there's no need to press it just yet. It's just good to know it's there when you do want to join the meeting. You'll see the same event appearing in the calendar tab within Teams too, and that's also gonna have a join button on it. There will also be a post created in the Teams class group for the live lesson. Plus, if you've allowed notifications for Teams on your device, you should get a pop-up or notification just before the lesson starts to remind you to join. So, loads of different ways you'll be notified and it's gonna be hard to argue that you didn't know about it. Okay, so you know you have a live lesson and you're ready to join. What happens now? Well, once you press the join button on any of the places that it appears, you'll be taken into what's called the lobby. If you played any online games, you'll be familiar with this concept. It's a kind of staging area where you can set everything up as you want it before you actually enter the lesson itself. You can turn your camera on or off and also your microphone. Most schools ask you to join with your microphone switched off and they will tell you if you need to put your camera on or off. Once you have the things set up the way you want them, click on the join button to indicate that you are ready to enter the virtual lesson. Now the teacher will know you're waiting in the lobby and will let you into the lesson once they're ready for you. You might have to be patient and wait a little while before you're let in, especially if you're a little bit early as a teacher might not have joined themselves yet or got things set up, or if you're a little bit late as the teacher may have already begun the lesson and they don't want to interrupt the flow of things by letting you in straight away. So just wait a while until you're invited in and the lesson starts for you. During the lesson, you should be able to see and hear your teacher and depending on the school rules around cameras, you may or may not be able to see the other students too. Teams can show up to 49 participants, so in a big class, this means that the teacher's video feed ends up being pretty small. Now, you can tap on someone's video feed and pin them, which will make their video feed much bigger and everybody else's will be squished down to the bottom of the screen or disappear altogether. Pinning someone like this is not going to change anyone else's view, it's just how the lesson will be shown on your screen. It's a great way of just focusing on the teacher and what they are saying and not to get distracted by all the other students. Now if the teacher is given a PowerPoint presentation or something like that, this will be shown full screen for everyone. Whilst presenting the lesson, they may give you some tasks to do, just as they would in a lesson in a real classroom. They might post some instructions, links or extra information in the chat window so it's good to know that you can view this inside the meeting by pressing this little speech bubble on the meeting toolbar. If you want to ask or answer a question during the lesson, there's also a hands up button on the toolbar that you can tap and which will indicate to the teacher that you have something to say. Depending on your class rules, the teacher might then either invite you to turn on your microphone and ask your question or they might tell you to open the chat box and type your question in there. If you do come onto microphone, don't forget to mute it again once you've finished asking your question. Once the lesson is over, you can simply press the hang up button to leave the class, or the teacher might end the lesson for everyone and you'll be automatically removed. Most schools are recording these lessons so that students can watch them again or to catch up on them if they miss them for one reason or another. Normally you'll see a banner appearing at the top of the meeting if this is the case. It usually takes a little bit of time for the video of the lesson to be processed, but generally you should find it becomes available within an hour or so of the lesson finishing. You'll find a link to the video in the same post thread that announced the lesson, along with any comments that were made in chat. 
Alternatively, you can go to Microsoft Stream by clicking on the waffle. You can see mine is pinned here, but you might need to go down and click on all apps before you can see it. Once you get to Stream, click on My Content and then select Meetings. And it will show you all the videos of all the live lessons that you've attended. On mobile, you might be better installing the Microsoft Stream app from the App Store or Play Store and finding your lessons through the app. Your teacher is going to give you some very specific rules that you will need to follow during these lessons. But here is some good general advice for live lessons in Teams. First, find a quiet spot in your house to sit and work during the live lesson. This should be a family room and not your bedroom with enough space for you and your device and a bit of extra desk space for you to work on. If you're going to turn the camera on, make sure you're dressed appropriately. Make sure you have something to write with and also to write on in case you want to take notes or participate in a paper-based activity and that you have any other equipment or books or resources that you would normally need for that lesson with you, such as a calculator. You don't want to be rushing around collecting all these things during the lesson. Be on time for the start of your lesson. If you're late, you'll miss the start and you might have to wait in the lobby until the teacher notices you and lets you in. Don't eat or drink during the lesson. No one wants to watch you chewing in full HD or listen to you munching in Dolby Stereo. Make sure you are fully focused on the lesson and don't have other distractions around you. Put your phone out of reach, turn your music and TV off, close your other apps and browser tabs and turn off notifications if you can. It's really easy for these things to intrude on your learning and for you to lose focus. Headphones sometimes help if there are other noises around you that you can't control. Try to participate fully in whatever activities the teacher is asking you to do. Learning is proactive and you will learn much better and retain much more information if you get involved. Finally, be positive. We all know that the situation at the moment is not ideal but it's important that we make the most of the opportunities that we have and do the best job we can with what we're given. Be patient, helpful, kind and understanding if things don't go quite to plan or that the teacher is having some technical difficulties. This is new for everyone and we are all learning together. Live lessons in Teams can be really great and definitely much more engaging than just having to work everything out yourself alone at home. I wish you a great start to the new term and I hope you quickly settle into this new way of working. I'll be looking at assignments next and how you complete these and hand them in. So, see you on the next video.